Welcome everybody out there here to our next webinar at uh, JFD Bank and the topic for today is of course JFD Invest uh, social trading platform um, offered by JFD Bank. My name, yeah, Stefan Friedrichowski as always, just call me Stefan uh, in case you send me an email or whatever. Uh, you see already my email address uh, down here on my first slide, uh, s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com. And if you have further questions, you can contact me personally or you just send an email to support at jfdbank.com. That's possible as well. So today's topic, uh, oh, I forgot to mention the date, yeah, 25. Uh, 25, 25th uh, of April 2019, okay, uh, as I mentioned for the recordings, um, JFT Invest is a topic and that is really trading and investing simplified since uh, JFT is offering a social trading platform but really different from others. In, in a nutshell, you we have pre-selected trading strategies and what you can do is simply copy those strategies into your personal jfd invest account and uh, that's all and you do it according to your own preferences and uh, yeah what i do during the webinar here is in total three steps one of course i explained a little bit of, uh, around jfd invest um, how to become part of that and uh, what kind of steps to be done of course of course, we talk about uh, the highlights of last week, the top performing strategy, which has been goldmine uh, last week. And as always, we have a look to my personal JFD Invest account because it takes that kind of account uh, yeah, just as a good example of what you can achieve with JFD Invest because I'm acting there in the same position than any other um, client of JFD. I'm just following and selecting trading strategies and uh, let's have a look to my personal account and we will see hmm, right now we have a few problems because there are some open trades uh, in the minus uh, but let's see it's uh, still within all limits um, but of course that's interesting for everybody I hope so at least before I really start, you know the procedure. I have always to show at least once the risk disclaimer because we talk about trading, we talk about investments, and uh, nevertheless, what you do finally, of course, you do it on your own, on your own responsibility. Um, at least that has to be um, mentioned once during any uh, webinar. So JFT Invest, JFT Invest, and I go directly here to the uh, homepage of JFD, and then we find a button which is investing JFD Invest. And that's exactly the starting uh, position for, for anything, what you can do around JFD Invest. And let me first scroll down because then we you see already what we are really talking about. We You see here the top five performing strategies overall um, that picture is um, updated uh, on a daily base. So right now, those are the five top performing strategies. And even one of the new strategies, Brimstone, is already within that list. You may think, hey, new strategy and already in the top uh, performing uh, list here. Uh, yeah, the reason is always that um, those strategies are not opened just a week ago. No, they have to show track records which are longer than six months. Otherwise, uh, they would never be here part of uh, JFD Invest. And all those strategies, and later you will see we have in total 13, um, they they run through a review process by a team of experts and only if everything is all right with those uh, trading accounts um, then it will be um, released here for jfd invest but nevertheless what you can see we are talking about really high performing strategies high performing strategies like galileo for example uh, reaching already 80% since inception and that is a little bit more than a year. So yeah, those kind of returns we are talking about. And you see um, others have less return, but maybe they have other good things, other good key figures. And finally, as always, it's at least not for me, it, it would not be like just jumping to the top performer and then 
let's let's see let's hope uh, everything goes uh, uh, perfect no what I will always do is I do a review process by my own before selecting any strategy and how to do I will explain a little bit more um, when we really enter the platform itself anyhow what you see is another very important key figure already on the top page here which is equity balance deviation um, in short it's it's floating losses it's you open trades and those trades might be in the minus on the next day or next hour or even for a couple of days and those open trades and those minus yeah might be a little bit higher as you can see we have numbers here like 40 percent so that's a higher number so it's temporary losses finally whether those temporary losses transfer into real losses we never know before but at least what we show because we are extremely transparent with all our key figures you, we, we show those numbers for the past and that is already one element for your personal review process in order to select the strategies which fit to your personal preferences best because it, as I mentioned um, if you just go for growth, okay, <laughs> Galileo is the first choice. If you have other things in mind, like like more more stability or more flatness in your equity curve, maybe Archimedes is a better choice. Less return, but um, other good key figures. So it's it's up to you in order to set up your own preferences. But those strategies we are really talking about, then. If you are interested, it's quite easy. You sign up JHD Invest profile. Uh, that's just um, a name and uh, your email address and a password. That's all. Then, if you are even more interested, then you open a special account, which is a JFD Invest account. So you, even if you are already a client of JFD, you cannot use your standard account where you trade already by your own. Uh, you need an extra account for um, JFD Invest. Simple reason. Um, the leverage is different, so it's one to 100 because you get the leverage for professional traders for that account because you follow professionals and therefore you get the same conditions. And the other thing is, yeah, this is quite simple, you cannot open a trade by your own. So you cannot say, okay, long euro, US dollar, That's you can't do on that special account. Finally, you connect um, both um, together and then you can start following any trading strategy like those mentioned here and looking there what you can do even right now even not having a profile having not an, any account you can always enter as guest and then you are already here and you see that uh, we have even more strategies right now and oh <laughs> that's even um, something new for me uh, we have a new one here goat rush okay I see that um, that is uh, I think one hour ago the strategy was not there let's have a look later but anyhow I mentioned I want to talk about the high, the top performer of last week, and um, let me see that one. And uh, that is a newsletter about that. Last week, the top performing strategy has been gold mine, earning 1.7% even in one week. And that is a quite cool strategy, I can tell you, because that strategy is already a, a portfolio inherently i mean it's it's already um uh, trading about 10 different symbols even within one strategy and you can see what has been achieved over more than a year so okay there are draw drawdowns it's trading so we we have to live with drawdowns as well otherwise uh, it would be too simple um but drawdowns are recovered and now we are waiting for really new uh, all-time highs so that's gold mine and you see a couple of instruments are traded and you will always access to what kind of instruments are traded in any strategy but that was a top performer of last week so gold mine it's uh, here and um, in, let's go for gold mine as an example of what you can get else as additional information was in JFD Invest. And 
simple by clicking uh, a given strategy, then you see the growth. It's the same picture we have had in the email. And there are already some more informations available. Account size, you can even see, okay, actual balance 5,082. Uh, equity is uh, close to 5,000. And that is a good example. As we speak, we have floating losses of a little bit more than 100 euro so exactly those there are open trades and at least in some those open trades uh, are in the minus that may uh, that might occur anytime and as as a good example it happens during the webinar. Anyhow, what you can see else here is uh, the monthly return table. So you can see um, the strategy is already more than one and a half year old. That means yeah, it has a real track record. It has statistics behind. Uh, so it's not um, yeah, doing one good month and then uh, hopefully we will have more of those. No, you see. Um, not all, not all um, monthly numbers are in green. So a few are in red, but that happens, of course, as well. But even more, what you can have here as uh, key figures for your personal review process, you have statistics of all those um, trades, and you can see, as promised, all traded instruments and now let's see okay it's uh, i think it's about 12 uh, in 12 different uh, symbols here um, in total number of trades executed during the one and a half year is close to 2000 trades so there's really statistics behind that kind of strategy and you see that out of those 12 traded instruments um yeah five instruments have been uh, in total um, accumulated losses but all the other are green as well here so those kind of informations are available and that is for your own personal review process but we have additional charts i mentioned already equity balance deviation as a key figure in this case it's minus 5.8 percent which is quite a low number but you can see that kind of number even uh, versus time so let's click on that and then you get a graph for how much equity balance deviation we have uh, over time. And now you can see, okay, um, the worst case was here, October uh, 2018. And then, yeah, sometimes we have a few spikes here. Um, and overall, in average, hmm, let's, let's do it uh, just by our own eyes here. So it's between 1% and 2% uh, on average. So that's a really good and attractive number. If you go for details, then you can see a little bit more about the strategy as well. Uh, for example, you can see that uh, 35 investors are following that, kind of, that strategy, and you see that's the total um, amount of money and the management that is uh, AUM, that is uh, 70K. And you see that there's a minimum investment uh, for that strategy of 500 euros. And I do not want to hide that number. There's a performance fee involved, and that is 25% for all strategies. But the good thing is it's following the logic of high watermark. High watermark means only by reaching new highs one has to pay um, fees. So if you follow that strategy from now onwards and you with your following activities are reaching new highs, then there's a performance fee involved and that is 25%. That's okay because you only have to pay if there are profits. Uh, there's no management fee or any other um, basic costs um, behind. That's, for example, gold mine. So that was the top performer last week. But um, since I mentioned we have new strategies, so one new strategy introduced two weeks ago that was Brimstone. And Brimstone, um, perfect equity, sometimes uh, drawdowns like here, that's OK. Um, strategy is running now nine months as we speak and has floating losses as well. That's always. Uh, you can see that by the difference between balance and equity and uh, we could go for the graph as well and then you see we have a bar here and uh, that is uh, between three and four percent so 
there are uh, open trades, um, but in some the open trades are in the minus. What are the instruments traded for that uh, kind of strategy? Okay, um, that is a real long list. That's about 25 different instruments. So once again, a good portfolio in its own um, uh, within the strategy already, um, we see that the instruments are not traded uh, equally distributed. Uh, most of the trades are executed on a minor forex pair, which is Euro, Polish, Slotty, and then uh, followed by Euro, Swiss Franc. Okay, that's the strategy using sideward markets, for example. Quite cool strategy, equity balance deviation. Also, pretty much okay. So, uh, good strategy as well. And finally, um, we have a new strategy, not the one which is really in spot here, uh, Gold Rush. Um, the other new one is Neptune. And Neptune has been introduced last week. Let's have a view on that. Okay, Neptune is really having steady growth. Then there has been a drawdown just last month. Um, and now we're covering from that drawdown as well. Here we have. Um, an equity balance deviation was a different sign. So we have open trades, which are in total um, in plus. And the special thing about that strategy here is that strategy Neptune is closing the trades always before 11 um, German time. The reason for that is then we never have swap costs involved. Um, so we have no financing costs um, for that kind of strategy. We have no overnight risk and no over weekend risk. Um, all trades are closed um, before uh, 11. And uh, of course, uh, they are closed on Friday before 11 as well. So we never will have any, any gap risk uh, for that strategy because we are talking about Forex. Forex is traded 24 hours. So normally we do not have uh, gaps during the days, uh, at least not um, at normal and regular market conditions. So traded instruments for that strategy is interesting as well because it's uh, an even longer list uh, once again. So that is uh, about uh, 30 different instruments for that strategy. Uh, a little bit more equally distributed, but still what you can see is okay, there are trades, uh, symbols traded, um, which have been non not profitable, at least not during that kind of history here. But overall, it's doing a quite good job um, um, over time. And uh, yeah, I think that will be a strategy I want to follow with my um, account uh, next time. Now I'm getting a little, I'm personally a little bit curious about Gold Rush, if it's uh, exactly what I think it, is. it should be. Yes, it is. And that is a, a interesting strategy as well because uh, gold rush you might have heard about that kind of strategy it's using um yeah days of week um, for example gold rush originally stems from the strategy uh, opening a trade on friday in gold going long over weekend and uh, selling the trade uh, or closing the trade on monday but that this strategy here is a little bit different it uses uh, days of week um, as base decision, maybe trade is opened. If the statistic for a given day uh, is telling us there's a good probability that at the end of the day uh, we will have profits with a given direction, and then strategy is opening uh, a trade into that direction. You see a totally different behavior of growth um, as we speak here. Um, so there are much more ups and downs. That is already a hint that that kind of strategy is never doing any what is called rebuys in cases of losses uh, like strategies um, Hyperion or FX uh, Global, uh, they they even increase their volume when encountering losses. Uh, that strategy is just opening trade and then closing the trade at the end of the day uh, in case it is opening for a given symbol trade. And that's all. And no rebuys. Therefore, we have a little bit more ups and downs within the growth. Um, but overall, uh, during the last uh, 10 months, we have earned uh, a little bit more than 10 percent 
you may say, hmm, compared to other numbers, it's not that huge, but it's a little bit more, um, yeah, it's not that risk fiend, so to say. Traded symbols, okay, again, a extremely long list of traded symbols. Um, and now you can see even indices are traded for that kind of strategy as well. So total uh, mixture of everything, um, yeah, quite interesting. I will talk about that one um, during the next webinar a little bit more because right now I'm not that prepared. Um, I was told that uh, the strategy is released, uh, but not exactly the date. Uh, anyhow, strategy is uh, out of my hands, so therefore I can even tell you so many things um, yeah, out of my hands directly here. I promised we will have a look to my personal JFD Invest account as well, because it's interesting, especially right now. And uh, interesting, I call it even interesting uh, because we have some floating losses. You will not see them first uh, view here within that chart because that is a balance line. Balance is always closed trades and that line is really perfect. I mean, um, that's my, my account um, and I like the kind of behavior, but I do not want to hide that we have right now uh, floating losses of about 1k. Um, so that's about 8% here within that account. It's still okay to have 8%, but mm, uh, um, I hope that everything will later turn to um, profits and not finally to some drawdowns, which we have had already like here. You see, there has been a real drawdown in the balance of um, a little bit more than 500 euros um, at that point in time, as well as here. Um, but anyhow, it's really doing a good job. Um, we have um, earned, or I have earned uh, on balance base more than three and a half K. So that's really a good number. That we have floating losses or um, even the other interesting question, what kind of strategies, uh, what is my current selection of strategies um, as we speak? You can see that we have, as I said, I have chosen five different strategies for my JFD Invest account. And um, yeah, you see mm, what the problem is, if I call it a problem. Um, FX Global, um, the internal balance of that strategy within my account is um, 3,100, equity 2,860. 2, so we, part of the floating losses are here and major part of the floating losses is uh, uh, coming from the strategy Hyperion and there we have uh, about 600 or 700 euro losses um, accumulated. Anyhow, Overall, it worked out, at least for my personal history, now since uh, eight months and um, having earned more than three and a half K within eight months with an investment of 10 K. I think that's the number which is uh, really good. Um, and let me click on view performance uh, analysis. Then we can have a look to my account in the same way than we previously reviewed individual strategies. So that's quite cool because you can investigate your, your portfolio account, your JFD Invest account in the same manner than any other strategy. That's really cool because you, you, you get the same kind of key figures, the same feeling. And um, you know about growth, of course, and we can go here for equity balance deviation. And then you see that exactly Today, we reached first time a higher floating loss than we have had in the past. So up um, since yesterday, the maximum has been uh, minus eight. Now we are exceeding that value. So that's exactly what I'm talking about, those floating losses. But nevertheless, you can see what I have achieved here with my account was a eight months um, green numbers and only April is um, 
it's a minus number, but I have still five days and to turn that number in green and hopefully uh, that will um, will be the case, yes. And you see open positions, uh, you can even grab your those and you see we have a lot of open trades with Hyperion and uh, yeah, that's uh, part of the reason. Traded instruments, now that list is really, really long. Uh, and overall within those eight months I have executed, uh, not directly, uh, more than two and a half thousand trades but just by copy those trades into my JFD Invest account. And the good thing is everything is done fully automatically. So you don't need an expert advisor, you don't need any additional computer, so-called VPS or something like, uh, or something similar, nothing. You just go find strategies, follow, press the button, follow, then you allocate a certain amount of money to that given strategy and you then you enter the risk management for the strategy risk management means that uh, you allow a certain loss for that strategy and if that loss would be exceeded then everything is stopped out automatically uh, directly done by jfd that's perfect uh, therefore you can um, have your own preferences within those uh, trading activities that is really uh, brilliant because still you act as a portfolio manager like selecting the right strategies those which fit your preferences best but anyhow then still you you allocate the amount of money and the risk settings for for that strategy so we are still involved but the rest the trading itself or copy trading is directly done on JFD servers and you don't have to care about that. The other good thing is wherever you are and you have access to the internet and you have access to your uh, JFD invest profile like I do here and even on holiday you can uh, stop out, you can reselect, you can enter a new strategy in your account. So wherever you are you have ac full access and full transparency. Uh, for for anything around JFD Invest and anything around your personal JFD Invest account. I hope you got a little bit more curious about JFD Invest and learned a little bit more about uh, what you can achieve and what you can do and how you do it. Finally, if you have any question, send me an email if you like, or send an email to JFD uh, Support. So the email address would be support at jfdbank.com. Anybody at JFD will help you uh, definitely. So that's for now. That's for today. I hope you can enjoy the evening, the rest of the day, and uh, up the weekend is already um, close to us. All for those uh, which have uh, who have Eastern this weekend. Happy Easter as well. I know there are a lot of people um, in that regions. Um, my Eastern is already one week ago. Anyhow, um, have a good time. See you back next week. Bye-bye.